Libra, I'm about to do your soul ties reading for whatever time period where you see this message, but I'm, I'm going to do a little, a little bit differently than I normally do. So I'm going to pull 10 cards to find out this person's energy and action towards you. And then I'm going to do yours on the side, but I'm going to show y'all y'all's cards so you can know if it's for you. It can't possibly be for all Libras. First card that fell out was the Page of Swords, which could represent a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I feel like it's their energy towards you because that's just what I asked for, their energy and actions. So they're watching you, studying you. <laughs> I get nine more cards with the other card that flipped out was the Ten of Cups because you brought some type of peace, contentment to their life. The lovers is at the bottom. Some happiness to their life. Six of Wands flipped over. <coughs> <coughs> Through whatever spying they're doing, whether it's in real life or social media or driving by your house or whatever, sitting in the bushes by your house, I don't know. Some type of spying that they're doing. They're saying that you're getting a lot of attention. Sorry about my voice. I'm getting over something. But um, they're saying that you're happy. If you're not happy, you're looking happy. Like you're looking good. You're looking blessed. Okay. With the six of wands, they see that you're very attractive, abundant, getting um, attention from other people. Can I get seven cards back to back, please? Please, stay not just one at a time. Can I get seven more cards for this person's energy and action towards Libra? In the past, this person was indecisive, but now they're impatient. Like they're impatiently waiting your return. Or Hopefully y'all can see. Okay, we got strength at the bottom, so you could be dealing with the Leo. Keep in mind, you don't have to be a Libra, like born under the sign of Libra. Libra could be your sun sign, your moon sign, your Venus sign, your Jupiter sign. You could just have a lot of Libra in your chart, or you could be a Libra rising like me. But um, before I keep reading their energy and actions towards you from now to two weeks from now, I'm going to start... um. I'm going to tap into your energy and see your energy and actions towards them. Hmm. What is Libra's energy and action towards this person? So these golden universal cards, they're going to be yours. walked away oh this is actually in reverse okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're changing and you walked away from this person due to confusion you were confused um about what exactly you two are building together so you walked away like you thought about it you're putting one and two together and you got some shit that you did not want it to add up to so you walked away and now they're spying on you now that you're no longer waiting for them to make a decision i say you were waiting for them to make a decision before because Sorry if it's, it's kind of dark because it's dark around me, but the lamp is on at the table. But okay. Um, I feel like you're no longer waiting for them to make a decision. I feel like this Two of Cups is about you loving yourself, or either you could have found a new love interest. Like you could be, you could have met a new person who gives you um, more of what you feel like you deserve than this person, or either you're deciding that you're only sticking around in love situations if your love 
energy time or whatever is being reciprocated. Um, but I feel like you could have got a new love offer in the past with this Knight of Cups being here. Which has made it easier for you to stop waiting on this person. Whether you're just dating, being flirtatious, or dealing with one new person, I don't know. But somehow new love <laughs> has helped you, has supported you in being able to walk away from this person who was not making a decision. Alright, so I'm going to go back into their energy. Hopefully I'm not confusing y'all. Okay. It's two of swords being here. I feel like this is about them being indecisive in the past. Or making a decision then or saying one thing and doing another thing in the past with the two of swords. Um I already went over that seven of pentacles, but I feel like in the near future they're gonna be trying to heal. Right after that we have the four of swords and the golden deck, which was your deck. So I feel like <clears throat> you already see yourself healing. They see themselves having an epiphany, like finally seeing the truth of their behavior and your behavior um, with the King of Swords being there. Let's see. Why is the King of Swords here? this person have the king of swords oh yeah they're coming to the reality the fact that things are over that you could actually end the cycle with them and be okay and move along perfectly fine they're realizing that and I think in the past with this two of swords energy they might have thought that maybe you would stick around with them until they figured out what they want. But I feel like now they're coming to the reality that you can end cycles. You can have new beginnings other other places and be happy and flourishing in, in those new beginnings. They're coming to that realization. Okay, But this person sees you as the fool. So they see you taking a risk in a new beginning elsewhere or in your life in general. Um, I feel like you probably are just showing up differently, possibly more confident. Even if you don't feel like you are, this is how this person is seeing you. They see you as on a new journey, as um, leaving the baggage that you had with them, or they see you as leaving them behind and starting a new journey. You see this person as, like, you have love for them, but I feel like you see them as childish, with the page of cups unless you're a teenager or an adult i mean <laughs> unless you're a teenager or a child like you don't want a page really unless it's the beginning of a relationship like you just met the person so y'all are being you know playful childlike um of course you could you're supposed to keep up the childlike innocence or playfulness or flirtatiousness in a relationship no matter how old it is but i feel like you seeing them as a page of cups that's not good i mean it's good to a certain extent but i feel like you see them as immature like why did i just explain that in an extra long way <clears throat> okay this person is hoping that you'll let your guard their, your guard down and allow them in pretty much with the three of wands being here, you're hoping for, you're being more future focused. You're hoping that your future projects or your whatever is coming towards you, you're hoping that it grows, it expands, whatever you're working on, whether it's love related or not. If it's love related, I feel like you're hoping that whatever new connection you're in or people you're dating is going to lead to something that is fulfilling to you. Um, if it's outside of love, whatever project you're working on, whatever I, business idea you have, you're hoping that it prospers. You're taking steps to ensure that it does prosper. Um, I feel like if it's love, you're handling, you're handling 
it a lot differently than you handled this situation. Okay, but I feel like the last card out for them being the page of wands, they're definitely going to message you or have some type of communication with you where they're trying to get you to be around them with the page of wands. Some sort of expression of passion or letting you know that they want you in some type of way. Um, it is a general reading, so I can't really be specific. If you want a personal reading, you can email me. I do text message versions, email versions, and videos. But I feel like with the five of wands being your last card out, it's like... Um, I feel like your attitude when this person comes back around is going to be like... We don't believe in the same things. We don't we don't have the same morals. We don't have the same ethics. We don't <sighs> like I don't feel like you're gonna be very receptive or like yay that they came back around because it caused you confusion. The nine of wands being here is like it was over top of this five of wands the nine of wands this person caused you a lot of pain like it's like you put effort into this person love passion your energy and all you got back is like their ass to kiss or like they they were not changing or taking your pain into consideration taking your feelings into consideration or how the things they do affect you or don't do affect you they were not taking it to taking it into consideration so when they come back around you're like um so what is this going to do for me is this going to put me back in the nine of wands energy because if so i don't want this shit like you're very, there's like probably going to be some internal conflict but the five of wands so, if Libra were to start dealing with this person and they come back again, what would, how would this play out? When this person comes back with this page of wands energy, if Libra were to deal with them, how would that play out? The most likely outcome. Eight of Swords. Mm. Hmm. What the? What the? Oh, they're all in reverse. Okay. <laughs> That's because I'm on the other side of the table. Okay. So we got the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups. <coughs> so I feel like this person still will be kind of like emotionally detached because the Eight of Swords is a very stuck energy it says the lord of shortened forest so shortened forest so not being very expressive emotionally or trying to keep certain emotional parts of them closed off from you or separate from you which is not cool yeah ten of wands so I feel like it would be a burden again. But this time you'll go from the 9 to the 10. You'll end up dropping it again probably because it would still be a burden for this person to <clears throat> be emotionally closed off. So I'm going to use the energy <clears throat> oracle to find out <clears throat> spirit what is I'm going to get <clears throat> what Libra needs to work on first and what this person needs to work on. What does Libra need to work on? What energy or... Yeah, what energy should Libra... Either take on or confront when it comes to this situation? The Angel of Love. And I feel like with you having the Two of Cups in the middle of your spread... I feel like you're already doing that. Like you're embracing new love things that make you feel loved like don't compromise your happiness 
and your joy to, I mean, for the past. And you have victory at the bottom. So I feel like I got that message right. What does this other person need to work on, Spirit? Not y'all shouldn't don't send this person to the person this video okay say that's some shit y'all need to work on no i'm just doing it because i did i did a spread for both people so what this this other person needs to work on energetically just the energy they need to confront or take on for their highest good Oh, hostilities came out. Mm. So they need to stop lurking and hating on what the fuck you got going on and what you're building. Because I feel like that's the main reason they want to come back in. Because they see you as a ten of cups, six of wands, and the fool. So I feel like they're a little bit salty about your new beginnings. So... I don't know. I don't like it. But Spirit is saying that the energy they need to work on is hostility. So probably. I mean, they weren't treating you right in the past anyway. So why are you why are you watching? And trying to um come back. Like they want to come back to fuck up whatever happy space you're you're in or you're soon gonna be in. Blossoming abundance is at the bottom. So they see you blossoming and being abundant. Because that came out for the reason why they're spying, stalking, whatever. So, Libra, if you got something out of this, please return the favor and like the video and or subscribe and or leave a comment. Um, if I leave the comment section on, I don't know. I'm going to think about it because people crazy as hell. So I don't know if I'm going to leave the comment section on. But I do appreciate you watching. And um, yeah, I'm done. Peace.